Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, the Patuxent River, West Warwick, Warwick, Cranston, running about a foot and a half above flood stage. It'll slowly start to recede uh, tomorrow, but minor to borderline moderate flooding this evening on that river. The problem is that that river is going to fill up with more water come Thursday night into Friday. Actually, our next storm system starts to snow and then it goes over to all rain. We'll get to that in just a second. We are dry, partly cloudy and turning cooler to eventually colder. Oakland Beach and Warwick weather looking OK. 39 in Smithfield. Most areas in the lower 40s will head down into the 30s during the overnight and into uh, early tomorrow morning. So threat tracker now through Wednesday, Wednesday night, even Thursday up until about noontime. It's looking OK, but once we get towards late, late afternoon and especially early Thursday evening, Thursday night, here we go again, only this time around the heavy rain starts as several hours of wet snow and some sleet. And it's not out of the question to get a coating to an inch or two of some sleet and slush Thursday evening, Thursday night before changing over to all heavy rain later Thursday night and into Friday morning. And that's when we have to watch the rivers all over again. In the meantime, our storm system from today, real soaker on the edge of your screen, pulling away drier, colder air working in. Here's the wider view. See this moisture in the bottom of your TV set? This will more or less kind of hang out across the southeastern U.S. next couple of days and then get drawn up the coastline again in the form of a storm later Thursday evening, Thursday night and into Friday. And the problem is that we have colder air across the Great Lakes that'll be working in over the next couple of days. In fact, sharply colder come tomorrow, Thursday and Thursday night. So when that moisture comes up the coastline, initially it's cold enough to start as some sleet and some wet snow Thursday evening, Thursday night. And then the milder air takes over and then it switches over to all rain. Let's break the forecast down and uh, we'll track this for you hour by hour. Watch the time bar here. So find the time that you're interested in, find the location you're going to be next 24 hours. And here we go. Skies are essentially clearing out tonight. So by tomorrow morning, 6 a.m., starting off in the upper 20s to low 30s. Kids at the bus stop, it's dry, just bundle up, but no rain, no street flooding or anything like that. A lot of sunshine, but it is much colder and it's windy. So we're forecasting mid to upper 30s, but you throw in the wind tomorrow, it'll feel more like the 20s. Actually, a wind chill, so cold and dry. And then even colder tomorrow evening, tomorrow night, late tomorrow night. In fact, when you wake up on Thursday morning at sunrise, it's only 20 degrees. So for tomorrow morning, sunny, cold and dry, starting off at around 32 and then mid to upper 30s tomorrow afternoon. Let's break it down hour by hour. We'll peak at around 39, around 1, 2 o'clock with mainly sunny skies. Then notice the gradual drop in temperatures. So by 7 o'clock in the evening, 35 by 6 o'clock in the evening, it's down to 33. Seven day forecast. We're clouding up on Thursday. It is cold. We're they're dry through about noontime, but late day and early evening. That's when that wintry mix arrives and then switching over to all rain later Thursday night into Friday morning. Once again, Friday is one of those days where we're going to watch the rivers again. Good news. The weekend's dry, but chilly both Saturday and Sunday with temps in the mid to upper 40s. That early call on this for Thursday night is perhaps uh, an inch or two of some slush and some wet snow and then switching over to rain. You had to think that at this point we would have to pull out the S word. Mm -mm. <laughs> Not yet. No. no. Not Thanksgiving yet. All right. All right. You know, people want some Just nice weather because they want to put up their Christmas.